Let's start by understanding how to make a stunning photorealistic rendering. Rendering a scene creates a photorealistic picture that enables a client to truly visualize their final home. The photorealistic images are great marketing pieces that can be used on your website, in brochures, or for client presentations. Making a good image, however, takes an understanding of lighting, materials, rendering settings, and how they all work together. With your 3D view displayed, select View, Render 3D Real View. In the 3D Real View dialog, click on the Options button. In the Program Settings dialog, select the 3D Real View Settings option in the left pane. The rendering settings are displayed. Ray Trace System Check. This is a utility that checks which graphic card is installed on your computer as well as the version of the driver. The utility may then recommend a different driver to use. Installing the recommended driver may improve your graphics display. Level. The level of quality in the resulting 3D real view image. There are five levels to choose from. Note that the higher level of quality you choose, the longer the rendering process takes. This option must be set before the rendering takes place. Anti-aliasing. Blends pixels in areas where two colors or two materials meet to reduce artifacts or stair steps and produce a more natural look to the scene. If areas in your rendered image appear jagged, then increasing the anti-aliasing value will help to compensate for this and straighten the lines. As a tip, for smoother lines, always set this level to level 5. Ignore IES light settings faster. By ignoring all IES data from the manufacturer that it is applied to light sources and distributes similar light data that results in faster rendering. Enable daylight. By default, daylight is included in radiosity calculations, even for indoor scenes, since light can come through a window. You can turn daylight off if you want. This basically emits daylight from the lighting calculations and can speed up the rendering. The sky settings. This setting helps to control the amount of light being cast onto a scene. Choices are clear sky, partly cloudy, and overcast. For example, if your rendered image looks overexposed, you can select a partly cloudy or overcast sky to reduce the amount of light coming through. Noise reduction level. Noise in a rendered image refers to areas of graininess. This can happen in interior scenes that mix sunlight and interior lighting. Increasing the noise reduction value will reduce noise in renderings, although the rendering may take longer. Use physically accurate daylight, slower. Enabling this option causes daylight to be simulated in a more natural way, resulting in optimal rendering quality. Note, however, that these advanced lighting calculations will increase rendering time. Tree and billboard intensity. A good setting is 70%, so trees and billboards inserted into a scene aren't washed out by lighting in a scene. Background color. The color that will be used for the background if the Use Background Image setting is disabled. The selected color is also applied to any scene as a way of controlling the overall tone of the scene. Try changing the color if you want to change the overall tone of the scene. Use background image. If disabled, a solid color is used for the background instead of the present background image. The color used is determined by the background color setting. Use static background. If using an image for the background, Enabling this maintains a constant background brightness rather than allowing the brightness to adjust along with the rest of the scene. Use Scaled Dynamic Background. If using an image for the background, enabling this option allows the brightness of the background to adjust according to the lighting in the scene. Click OK. You're now ready to render the view. Select the Render button. The program can take anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes to calculate the solution, depending on the number and complexity of the elements in your drawing and the level of quality chosen. You can stop the solution if needed, then start it again. 
Once an image is finalized, you can make some tweaks to the image before saving it, such as brightness, the overall brightness of the image. Lower values darken the image, while higher values make it brighter. You can adjust this value during or after the rendering. It must be adjusted prior to selecting Save. Burn, a parameter that controls the intensity of highlighted areas. This can be a decimal value between 0 and 1. Lower burn values will decrease the intensity of the highlights to avoid burned out areas in the image. You can adjust this value during or after rendering. It must be adjusted again prior to selecting Save. Convert to Grayscale saves the rendered image as a monochromatic image with varying shades of gray. Apply Static Background. If using an image for the background, select this option to replace the color used during the rendering process with the background image in your scene. Click the Save button to save the rendered image to a bitmap, JPEG, or Targa file. You'll be prompted to specify a file name and a save location. You can also click the down arrow next to this button and select Launch Viewer to open the image in the editing application that is associated with images in Windows Explorer. This resets the view in the preview window back to its pre-rendered state. Design professionals know how important it is to express your vision with clarity. CADSoft products not only improve design productivity, they also provide the simple tools needed to show your clients exactly what they're getting and bring your projects to life. I hope that makes your envision your work one step easier.